Hello friends, today we will do a quick review of a TDS meter. So I ordered this from Amazon, it came in a good packing, though the box packing was not that great but uh, the product itself comes in this plastic box. So that's a good thing about it. On Amazon it's mentioned as a generic TDS meter but as we can see here it's a HM digital one AP1 is the model and it gives a TDS as well as the temperature uh, indication here the case is good uh, the quality of the product also is really good it also comes with this, uh, you know, uh, the chart or the rating of what the TDS levels would be uh, for different types of water, as well as, uh, you know, what could be marginally accepted and uh, the contamination levels and all that. So, the TDS things are mentioned in the parts per meter it's usually ppm okay so I purchased this to check the water TDS so if your water source supply is a, a well or a, you know a municipality or, or you are worried about uh, if it tastes very uh, salty or something like that uh, this TDS meter comes handy to check what could be a TDS of the water. And uh, yeah. so this is the product. It also has a case here. So after you remove the cover, uh, basically you need to press on this power button. And uh, you know, right now it shows zero ppm, and uh, below is the temperature reading. Uh, you need to insert this in a, a kind of a two inch or one and a half inch of water so you need to basically dip this in the water and uh, it will show the TDS readings accordingly this uh, in the box there is also a guide basically it's a user's manual that has been provided and it's pretty handy as well so it's the same model description so here are the details so uh, you know after the power button uh, basically uh, there is a mode button so we need to ensure that we never press this bone button this mode is uh, used to basically uh, you know uh, configure uh, uh, this uh, TDS meter so what they say is you need to purchase a distilled water and put it in a distilled water if you feel that you know your TDS meter is showing off the uh, readings are not correct so a distilled water has zero TDS so you can press on you basically you need to start with the power and then press on the mode and put this in a TDS meter and then you know you need to align that to the value that has been displayed here you need to you know press this plus and uh, this up up and down buttons to get that uh, to zero and once you are done with that you need to press the mode button again so that way you will be able to configure this tedious meter uh, but what i felt is like this we could accidentally also press this mode button which will be really very risky so we need to ensure about that uh, below that is this hold button and all it does is like when you you know put this meter in the water and uh, after 10 seconds is what they recommended i found that it immediately gives the correct tds uh, so once the TDS after 10 seconds you need to press on that whole button and then take this unit out uh, so that you know it it gets freezing on the it just uh, you know sets what was the TDS uh, when you click on the hold and it, it maintains that as so is. let's quickly test uh, this TDS meter uh, I have two different sources of water uh, one is a 
tap water i believe this one is a tap water and this one is came out of the ro so let's test the tds so let me click on the power here and it's zero right now and i'll simply you know i'll simply put it in water so close to two inches or something is what they recommend us to put in uh, we need to wait uh, the other thing that they are mentioned in the instruction manual is it could be possible there could be air bubbles which could get struck so just uh, give a little tiggle and here it is so it is 47 so 47 is the tds for the water that's directly through the tap and uh, let me just rinse this a bit and let's test it in an ro water so this is the ro water and the ro one is coming close to 18 so obviously the ro has reduced the tds to one third uh, usually ROs goes beyond that to make it one fourth so this came out of an LG RO uh, I think the model number is W180 I'll be also doing a re review of that uh, purifier so yeah so that RO also has uh, mineralization so that's the reason it has increased at least the TDS till 18 or generally what happens is uh, from 45 uh, if you go in an RO it will come to around 12 or 13 so, so yeah so that's it it's a good product if you want to test the TDS of your water especially in the rainy seasons uh, where the water could have other pollution in it uh, it comes handy uh, other than this uh, it's also recommended to purchase uh, a pH meter uh, because then you know uh, along with your TDS the pH meter will guide you the alkaline or the acidity of the water uh, we should be drinking more alkaline water uh, RO unfortunately you know makes the water acidic so that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.